Happy Sunday everyone. Welcome back to another video. My name is Tawanda and I'm the Migraine Crafting Diva. And on this channel, I do decorating on a budget, DIYs, and hauls with a sprinkle of migraine enlightenment. In today's DIYs, it's going to be another Christmas, Christmas in July video. And I will be using my IOD transfer book um, on all of these DIYs. And this book was given to me for my birthday last year. So, um, and I've only used it once. So I'm excited to see uh, um, what I can do with these transfers. So we're going to go ahead and get started with DIY number one. So for DIY number one, I have my um, coasters. And then I'm also going to use my IOD um, transfer book that I received last year for my birthday. And I'm going to um, cut out some of the birds and some of the greenery and I am going to apply them to the coasters. Um, and I'm sure you probably already guessed that because coasters are like one of my favorite things to make. So here I'm just um, trying to decide which birds and what greenery I'm going to use on the coasters. And then once I have that figured out, I'll go ahead and start transferring everything. And once I have it all transferred, I will varnish it, varnish it, excuse me, and then um, go over it with two coats of Mod Podge. And that is going to be it for this DIY. Really quick, easy, and simple. Um, I was trying to get a couple of easy videos out so that I could, um, because I was going to be on vacation in July for two weeks, and I want to go ahead and have all of my videos taped through August so that um, I could enjoy my vacation um, a little bit. So, but um, yeah, so um, I hope you enjoy these videos and I hope you like my coasters. Let me know what you think. So here I am doing the last coaster and um, varnishing it like I said and I'm going to go ahead and add the Mod Podge and look at how good they turned out. Look at how good they look. Oh my gosh. I just love them. I um, also went back and I added um, some of the little foam things to go on the bottom of them so that they wouldn't scratch up your table. But look at how good they look. I love them. I absolutely love them. Can't wait to use them. So we're going to move on to DIY number two and I'm going to just going to just put this out here. I really wanted to use this transfer on this um, little cutting, cutting board and it was an epic fail. I could not get it to transfer. 
I tried for probably 30 or 40 minutes to try to get this to transfer onto this cutting board and it would not transfer for me. So then finally I took it outside and I sanded it just a little bit to see if that would help. And um, I was able to get some of the transfer, but not all of it. So then I tried a different transfer and I still could not get it to transfer. So I'm not sure if it's something on the, um, the cutting board that's preventing the transfer because everything else I tra I use the transfer on work, but just on this, I had the hardest time. Um, I've, I really thought this video was going to take about 20 to 30 minutes and it actually took me, um, probably close to three hours to do this video because I was trying so hard to get this transfer to transfer and it would not transfer for me. I had the hardest time. So I think what I'm going to do is maybe try and sand it down completely and just try a different transfer to see if that works. But I was so disappointed because I really wanted that transfer to work on that. Um, I just visually just saw it like I, I don't know. But, you know, things don't always work out like you want them to when you're crafting. But um, I'll let you just watch me as I continue to try to get this to work. I did get a little bit of it to transfer, but I just could not. And it, it, it yeah, it wore me out. So I ended up having to, I ended up scrapping this um, DIY and doing something different with a different um, item. But, um, yeah. So um, we'll go ahead and get started with the next DIY. So I went on to the next DIY and then I came back to this cutting board and um, this is me trying a different transfer and <laughs> it absolutely did not transfer. It did not work. So I ended up using this transfer here that I'm trying to put on it now on something else on a little um, rolling pin. So you'll see me doing that here shortly. But yeah, I... I don't know. I think there must be something on the cutting board that's just preventing the transfer to work. But um, if you have any ideas, let me know. So we're going to move on to DIY number three. And basically I just have a wood round. Um, I believe I got a, this pack of wood rounds from, I want to say Hobby Lobby, maybe. I can't remember. And then I have this mousse transfer that I'm just putting on to the, um, the wood round. And I did sand it a little bit before I put the, um, the transfer on it. And then once I have the transfer on it, I, I just think it turned out so nice. I, this is like one of my favorite ones. So I didn't, once I have it completely transferred, I took two of the, um, Dollar Tree, um, the Dollar Tree blocks. Oh my goodness. I can't remember what they're called. The tumbling blocks, excuse me. And I glued them to the back so that it would stand up. And oh my God, it turned out so nice. Originally I was going to turn it into an ornament, but then I was like, yeah, you know what? Let me just, um, try something different here. And I was like, you know what? It would be nice as like a little shelf sitter or something up for, you can put on your tear tray. So I took some of the wood glue and some hot glue and I glued it to the, to the um, tumbling tower blocks to the back of it. And I also gave it a coat of Mod Podge and that is it for this DIY and it is one of my favorites, if not my favorite. It's like so simple, but I just love it. It's like woodsy. So um, let me know which one of these DIYs will be, is your favorite. And so, um, yeah. We're going to go ahead and 
move right along to our next DIY. So for this DIY, I have another transfer and it is another mousse. I have this little vase that I purchased from Target. I don't even know how long ago, but I, um, it said $3 at the, on the bottom, but I know I didn't pay $3 for it. I believe I got it when um, the season was over and when they put everything 90% off in the, um, in the Target uh, dollar spot. Um, area because I picked up a couple of these and I know I didn't pay three dollars for all of them so here I'm just using the transfer again just rubbing it on um, using my little stick there and my finger to um, get it transferred and then I um, and then I'll varnish it and then once I had that done I actually did not put Mod Podge on it I actually put um, I sprayed it with the um, Rust-Oleum clear coat. Um, I sprayed this one with that and the one um, my next DIY. But and then I went ahead and I took some greenery that I had from um, Hobby Lobby at the last year after Christmas sale for, that I got at 90% off. And then look at how good that looks. I love it. So here I'm just showing you that I used the matte clear. And then, so I have this greenery that I purchased from Hobby Lobby and it was 90% off um, last year for Christmas, after Christmas sale. And then I have, this is the 4th of July um, pick from Joann's that I picked up for a dollar. Um, I picked up a couple of those and I'm just gonna put those into the vase and that is it for this DIY and it looks so good. And moving right along to our fifth I think this is the fifth DIY for this video. I know I have a lot of them in this video. So I have this um, frame that I purchased from Dollar General. And it was, I want to say it was 90% off. It was on clearance and I picked them up. I picked up like three of these probably like almost two years ago. And um, I know, I want to say they were like a dollar, maybe a dollar or a dollar fifty, no more than two dollars a piece. So I picked up all the ones that they had left. And then I took this transfer, the IOD transfer here, and I um, went ahead and just added it to the picture. The frame was already painted white because I was actually going to use it for a different transfer um, when I was going to do a transfer DIY back in December for Christmas, but I never got to it. So um, here I am just varnishing it after I put the transfer on. As you can see there, my R is a little messed up. So I'm just gonna, I found that little piece and I'm just gonna go ahead and add it to it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and also give it a um, spray it with the clear coat, the Rust-Oleum clear coat. And that is gonna be it for this DIY. And look at how good it looks. Oh my goodness, it looks so good. And now we are back to these transfers um, from DIY number two. So this is what I came up with instead of um, using the, um, the little cutting board. So I went ahead and I picked up, I went and back to my craft room and I picked up one of these little rolling pins. And this was, I think, I, I believe I paid 99 cents or a dollar for this at the Goodwill. So here I'm just, um, using the at putting that transfer onto it and I'll go ahead and varnish it um, and then um, I decided I wanted to paint the handles so I started off by painting the handles I believe I painted them red first because I wanted to do a crackle finish yeah I painted them red first because I wanted to try a crackle finish with the, the glue so I painted them red I waited for it to dry I put the um, glue on it 
and then I put white paint on top of it white chalk paint on top and it did nothing it did not crackle at all so um, I ended up letting that dry and then the next day I ended up going to um, Hobby Lobby I was looking for some crackle um, something to help it crackle and I couldn't find anything I ended up finding they um, I ended up finding the I think it's they go art crackle yeah I think it's like they go art crackle so I ended up trying that and um, I painted it green and then I ended up trying the deco art crackle and it still would not crackle so I did a test on another piece another um, item that I had and it still wouldn't crackle so I followed the directions but it wouldn't crackle so I actually ended up just scrapping crack the crackle technique and which is really weird because I I, I probably should have just blow dried it because usually when I put heat to um, the wet paint it automatically crackles instead of trying to um, use the glue because it just doesn't work for me and then the deco art crackle did not work for me all neither so I'm gonna have to figure out something that I could use to crackle so here I'm just painting it with the um, the blue here I think it's um, I can't remember the name of the, the, the green paint that I'm using but I'll put it on the screen I think it's like Christmas tree or something like that so here I'm trying to use this product and it says you know if you want big crackles put a lot on it if you want little crackles um, put less on it but so anyway I ended up just scrapping that and then I just took my sander to it and I sanded it down with um, and it turned out so nice I actually like the way that it turned out so but I still would have preferred to have the crackle but I still think that it I tried to use the sand and bought the crackle but I mean to um, sand it down but it just it was taking too long and it wasn't working and I just ended up taking it outside and using my orbital sander to sand it down and look at how good it turned out look at it it's so cute I think it turned out so nice I love just the different colors of it so um yeah that is it for this DIY let me know which one is your favorite so that is it for today's DIYs if you like what I am doing please like share and subscribe I would greatly appreciate it and like I always say be nicer be kinder God will love you for it and I hope you have a blessed day and I will see you next Sunday goodbye